Look at her. She's got the crowd jumping. That's singer Emmy. She has new music out, and she's got performances coming up in Fresno this weekend. Emmy joins me live. Welcome, Emmy. You had the crowd going there. Where was that? Oh, absolutely. That was in Beirut, Lebanon. Beirut, Lebanon? Yes. All places? Yes. Now, you're from originally Youngstown, Ohio. Youngstown, so Ohio. Beirut, Lebanon yeah. may seem like really far away, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It took a minute to get there, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. So tell me a little bit about your music and how it got started. Well, um, you know, when I, I was growing up in Youngstown, Ohio, I, I knew I always wanted to do music. I mean, it's, it's basically the starving artist cliche story, but as mm -hmm. soon as I was almost 18, I took the Greyhound bus to New York, and I never looked back. How hard was it to get started? I mean, a lot of people... It's not easy. <laughs> it's definitely footsteps. not easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, you know, you, you always find uh, the people who inspire you and, you know, it's anything that can build you up. And speaking of which... I just read. I just ran into Ed Asner out there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you, you remember the theme song, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mary Tyler Moore show. Yes, of course. Love is all around. No need to waste it. You could have a town. Why don't you take it? You're gonna make it after all. And oh. throw the hat up in oh. the air, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> my goodness. So tell us about your new single. Or your is it called Red? Is that the the new uh, single? Oh, Red was my most recent radio single. Okay. Um, it was on over 60 top 40 stations across the U.S. And I actually have new music out right now, uh, Love Me As You Are and Wait. Um, and uh, Wait, nobody's heard it yet. Nobody's heard it yet. It's going up on the SoundCloud today. I would love for everybody to take nice. a listen. Yes. So wait a little bit, check in the SoundCloud and... and, and wait a little bit. Google you, yeah. Yes, uh, you but up. the chorus... For our love, will you wait? And that's the first time it's ever been performed anywhere. So you heard it here so first, it folks. Yes. My goodness. You were talking about your inspirations. Who <laughs> yes. inspires you? Oh, gosh. You know, right now, I'm on a Bruno Mars kick. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. I grew yeah. up on you know, Aretha Franklin, Gloria Gaynor, Whitney Houston, and there are there's a lot of 60s artists that I'm realizing I listen to them over and over again in my youth, and now um, I always go back to that because there is so much soul in the Motown. I mean... It's, it's there. Yeah, and that sound is classic. And as you said, you know, Bruno Mars has made a whole career out of kind of bringing oh, yeah. it back and reintroducing it to new audiences. Absolutely. Yeah. What's your summer been like so far? I know we just started, but what's, what's been like uh, for you? I literally just got back from uh, headlining at Chicago Pride, uh, which was such an honor because uh, Chicago is kind of like a second home for me. When my first single came out, Magic, um, it was number one on KISS FM in Chicago. And ever since then, Every time I go back, you know, I've always felt so supported there, and they were one of the first ones to pick it up. So I was just so honored to perform there. And yeah, I and mean, I'm they sure they were thrilled heart. to see you too. Oh, it was a party. <laughs> now, you, you proved just moments ago you have a beautiful voice, but what's this mm -hmm. I read about you being a martial artist and oh, yes. <laughs> went into some combat training and everything? Tell me about it. Oh, yes. Uh, well, recently, actually, was it last week or the week before then, I uh, did a workshop with Taurus, um, which. It's, it was basically meant as a pre-deployment workshop for, you know, special ops, law enforcement, military. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I've been in martial arts for about 20 years. So when I came upon Taurus, uh, it, it was really fascinating because it completely changed the way I looked at training. And um, I, I've really been trying to get other people to come with me, and it's been slowly working, but I really believe it is the new way of self-defense mm -hmm. and not just for law enforcement and military um, for women I, I work with no more as a an ambassador for no okay. more which is a uh, it's an awareness campaign against domestic violence and so you know those things kind of go together and I it's really close to my heart to make sure that people are safe and at least know how to defend themselves and oh, Taurus yeah. is definitely it's one of those things that I highly recommend. Now, which one did you start off with? Judo, mixed martial arts when you were I started younger? off in Taekwondo and then Taekwondo. American Kenpo and Wing Chun and little Muay Thai and a lot of different things. So My goodness. Yeah, I've been busy. You would never know by looking at you, you know? You're so <laughs> beautiful and uh, you're a singer and she can obviously defend herself too, folks, right? On my good days. Yeah. Now tell us about what's going on this weekend. You're going to be in Fresno? Yes, yes. I'm opening for Tyga at um, the Lowrider Show in Fresno Tyga, on Saturday. Yeah, nice. Yes, it's going to be a party. I'm so excited. I can't wait. And if you're out in Fresno, make sure and catch Emmy. For more information about Emmy and all her new projects, go to kcalline.com. Click Scene on TV. What a treat.